Hey everyone, Sophia here in the beautiful city of Vancouver, where we're here visiting United Front Games, and I'm joined by Dan Sochin, producer on Mod Nation Racers. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Glad to have you guys here and uh, enjoying our sunny, well, not so sunny today weather. All right. So, what are you guys showing us today um, for Mod Nation Racers? Uh, well, today for Mod Nation Racers, we're doing a, a first-time hands-on uh, with a lot of the media. We're showing a lot of what we're going to be having for public beta as well as a few special things that uh, we wanted to, to give uh, you guys the opportunity to check out. All right, can we go over like some of the details? Like first we did the character creation. Um, could you kind of go over the details regarding that? Sure, yeah, no problem. So we started off doing character creation and you know, you're building your character right from scratch, from uh, a blank character that's sort of influenced by urban vinyl culture. And then we went from there and you added on all sorts of different parts, uh, skins, stickers, uh, 3D accessories, and made whatever kind of cool character you wanted, whether it looked like uh, a human or a racer or a creature or some fantastical piece of artwork, whatever you wanted. Saved those characters uh, and you actually published them and so that anyone on the first day of the public beta is going to be able to check out these characters that you guys have created. And uh, then after that we went into racing and uh, we're showing a couple of tracks we have in the past, uh, Market Run and Farm Frenzy is a new one. And there's a couple exclusive tracks that we've only allowed you guys, first time ever anyone outside of UFG has ever played them. Yeah. So what makes this one stand out among other kart races, like in terms of the driving mechanics? Um, what Mod Nation Racers, what we did is we took sort of the best aspects of a kart racing game, which to us is accessibility. Anyone can easily pick up and play. It, it's forgiving that, you know, you may make a mistake in one of the corners, but you still have a chance to get back into it. Our, our motto right from the beginning was, anyone can win. Now, of course, the more skill you have, uh, the better you learn to use the weapons, then you're able to get back and you will win more races than, uh, than anyone else. It doesn't just feel like a, a flip of the coin. Yeah. Um, but we have sort of the physicality that you wouldn't necessarily expect in a racing game. People are bumping into each other, they're side swiping, we use real world physics. Um, and that goes with our weapons as well. And can you go over the details regards to like track creator? Track sure. Track creation, it's... Uh, it's, it's sort of our piece de resistance. It's, uh, you know, when we thought about making a kart racing game and all the great things that kart racing does, one of the things we want to do is help reinvent the genre. And for us that meant customization, customization, customization. So we talked already about you customizing your characters. You can do the same thing with your carts and change all the different aspects, the body, the wheels, and then finally the track, which is obviously the most important part of a racing game is the track experience. So we build our editor uh, right from the beginning uh, with the premise that it's got to be easy, it's got to be accessible. We didn't want it to be, and we've seen some really uh, interesting editors over the years uh, in different types of genres of games. Some are really complex. I feel like you need a master's degree to just get through it. And what we wanted to do was make one that was fun and, and intuitive. So you just start driving. You drive um, just like you do the same normal controls, L stick to navigate, R2 for gas, and this massive steamroller starts laying out track behind you. And you can go up and down, you can change the elevation, and, uh, and you make this track, this, this loop, this whatever you want it to be in under a minute. You can press auto-populate, it populates the world, which is something we're going to be showing today as well, first time that's been seen. And your track can have boost pads and, and all the objects and all the pickup items and trees and houses instantaneously placed for you and your track's ready to go. So that's where the, you know, the casual experience, if you want to go in there and then edit each individual prop, scale it, rotate it, um, you have that sort of power to do it. And uh, one of the other things we're going to be showing today is what we call sort of Track Studio 2.0. So in some of the previous things we've shown, uh, we've, it's been all about speed and, and ease of use. And what we want to show you guys today is how deep we can go with the tool. How you can modify and, and edit each, uh, each part of the track to the width, the height. You can go in there and create completely empty sections so you can create off-road racing. Um, it's pretty amazing what you're going to be able to, to do after what we show you today. And we can't wait to see what the community is going to be building. Excellent. So when does this game come out and what platform? Uh, it's going to be coming out spring 2010 and we're exclusively for the PlayStation 3. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And that was our look at Mod Nation Racers. Be sure to check out the game space for more details and uh, gameplay footage.